Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the following code that you can see on the screen of this video. What you can see on the screen, it talks about then this line has a broken circuit. Means then the lines between point A to point B are broken. And the computer registers that there is a high voltage or the circuit is not closed. And that's the reason why uh, this code comes on. So, um, to be specific, in this case, we have the DF heater line number four, but these trucks are equipped with many different heater lines. Some of them are going to have six heater lines, but the majority or most common ones are going to have four, and some very not very that common, they're going to have the fifth one. So it will vary. So your application will tell how many DEF heater lines you have. So that will vary. So in this case, we have four, but as I say, that will determine by your truck. So if you get a heater line number five or six or seven, is because your application of your truck allows that many lines. Anyway, in this case, we have heater line number four. The heater line number four is the one that comes all the way to the emission system that is located on this side. But here we have a closer look of the heater line, and here we have the actual problem of the heater line. The cable, the actual cable breaks over the time. This is pretty common on these heater lines uh, because they're exposed and they are going to be rubbing and chafing against anything. So the protective material of the cable, the actual wire goes exposed and that starts causing corrosion issue because of the water these trucks go uh, they, they go everywhere so water goes inside the wire inside and start corroding then they start destroying the the conductive material and that actually destroys the communication of this heater line um, in this case we are going to repair this line because we are able to repair it so all we have to do is actually fix the cable by adding a small amount of cable just to communicate the one, the point A to point B of this wire and it was broken. And that will fix the problem. But in some occasions, the heater line inside the actual cable, the actual wire then goes trapped inside the heater, the heater line, the DEF line goes broken. So when that happens, you have to replace the whole line, the whole DEF line. And that will require a little more work because you have to remove the line from whatever point comes to the other section. So in this case, if the case where then the DEF line were broken, we will have to replace it. So in this case, this, this heater line number four goes from the injector the DEF injector all the way to the DEF pump so it goes across the frame so we have to remove all the clamps that are holding this DEF line which is going to be a little harder and plus the cost of these DEF lines are not that cheap in this case for this one it's going to cost around 250 to 300 dollars just for the line and plus the labor probably you're looking at 500 600 dollar um, expense just to replace the DEF heater line in this case um, but uh, once you repair this issue once you communicate the cable you repair the wiring and you do whatever you have to do to repair the problem with your DEF heater line you can easily just go back to your truck and start the engine and the check engine, check engine light should be off because this code doesn't need validation doesn't need any type of verification all it needs is to know if the communication of the heater line, the point A to point B, is being communicated to the ECU. So once the computer knows that we have communication, the computer will actually delete the or, or uh, turn off the codes because uh, to delete the code you need to use the DDL software, but it will turn off the code, the checking in line will completely disappear, the amber light will stay because that needs to be cleared with the DDL software, but it can be cleared by itself, but you need to drive the truck a couple miles until the truck actually verifies the actual problem was completely repaired. But in this case, this was the point of this video to show you this basic uh, problem this truck had and um, it is not very complicated to fix these issues, especially with DEF heater lines, but sometimes can be a little more complicated 
if the problem goes beyond that because in this case as i say the wiring problem was exactly where the plug of this um, heater line goes but in some cases it can be in the the actual harness the actual harness then comes from the computer all the way to the emission box so that section can be damaged somewhere because it's normal over the time wiring can be um, chaffing or can be pressed by something and that eventually is going to destroy everything all the protective material all the loom or whatever it is protected and eventually is going to reach the actual cable and the wire inside and that is going to send that signal to ground and you're going to have different codes as well but uh, those are different type of repair the basic repair is this one so in case you get this cut this is what you have to do and depending on the number of the EF heater line that you get that is where you're gonna go see usually the EF lines they have a little tag then say what number of the EF heater line they are so it will be a white tag then it is on the actual line um, you wanna have it usually at the end of the line not where the plug is it is where the other end ends so in this case the plug it is on this side of the SCR box so the tag is going to be all the way back to the pump that is going to be the tag for the DF line so you now have the number and the part number of the DF line and to buy this DF line it is better to have the part number because most dealers don't know how to get them or don't know the difference between one and another so it is always recommended to have the part number of, of the DF heater line so that way you can go straight and purchase the right one otherwise you can just go buy one and then come back to your truck and then you have to go back and because it is not the right one so just be sure to do that anyway with this I finished this video just basic talk about these problems with these Cascadias um, I'm going to post more videos like this in the future talking about how to fix uh, electrical issues electronic issues with these Cascadias modern Cascadias and this process is going to work with all trucks uh, from 2012 all the way 2022 they all use the basic system the system is the same the difference will be the location of the component they will vary depending on the years but the basic on how to repair it is exactly the same for all the years so um hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment below you can see me on instagram as francisco maya youtube thank you for watching share it with anybody that wants to see more content like this to prepare their trucks thank you